Hey, this will be a video chart on the stock of the week, MMTC. Uh, definitely was the most popular in Penny World, at least as far as the message boards were concerned. Uh, quite a bit of action. Um, what we're looking at here is a weekly chart, and this is the main chart I'm going to go over now that it's Friday, and this candle has finished forming itself. Uh, but real quick, just looking at the daily, uh, you can see uh, the breakout, uh, the pullback twice, really, where it, where it came back here and back tested the 200 day simple moving average, which is a great sign of strength that it was able to hold. And actually, the trampoline effect went into full force here, and you know, this big bounce. And then today, just had some more profit taking and another um, red consolidation day. But as you can see here, this consolidation day proved to be healthy, uh, so I don't see anything to uh, you know really panic about just because today was red. Uh, so, going back to the weekly chart here. Uh, the first and kind of key thing that sticks out in my mind is relative to this purple line, which is the 50-week simple moving average. And you can see that not only did the price uh, get above it, it exploded through it and closed well above it. So that's a good sign of strength. And if we scrunch up the chart, you can see that the last time the price was actually above uh, the 50-week was you know, back in 2009. So... Uh, needless to say, it's been a long time since the price um, has closed above uh, the 50-week simple moving average. So what I want to do is just go over some of these supports and resistance levels. Um, the first level of support basically already gave it away, but it is going to be uh, the 50-week simple moving average right now. That's valued at 0 .0082 if you want to get specific about it, uh, but we'll just call it 0 .0008. Uh, this will be the key level. Uh, for the longer term view. Now keep in mind, we are looking at the weekly chart. So if you're a day trader, you really don't care what this chart has to say. Uh, you know, you're obviously more concerned with, you know, 60 minute charts, five minute charts, whatever your strategy is. Uh, you know, going over the weekly definitely pertains to more of the longer term swing traders or people just following this for the kind of overall uh, fundamentals and so forth. So for those players, 0.008 uh, is going to be the key level of support that you want to see the price be able to maintain in the coming weeks. Because, uh, you know, let's if it comes down here and bounces around before heading back up, obviously this set of lows would be higher than this set, which would give us the ability to draw that uptrend line like that. Now, in terms of resistance levels, the key one that I'm looking at is going to be right around uh, the two cent area. And that's simply coming from kind of just finding a middle ground of all these previous lows over here you can see that uh, acted as support multiple times in this area here and then you know when the price finally did fall below it you know things really kind of fell apart but uh, like I said you have a bunch of lows you have some that are a little bit above two cents some that go below two cents um, so for argument's sake I'm just gonna call the key level of resistance that the price needs to get through um, you know the, the two cent mark right here with a break of two cents, really, there's not any sort of resistances until up here around the three cent mark. Uh, so, you know, the price could really start to get moving here uh, like it did after it broke through this 50 week here. Uh, but, you know, one step at a time, let's first uh, make sure we go through healthy consolidation period and see if, uh, you know, this two cent level here can break. And I'll change that to red real quick just to represent this being a level of resistance. So just one more time in a nutshell, 50 weeks up moving average was demolished this week. Very good sign of strength, and now going forward, we want to see the bulls maintain it. And then next week, uh, two cents is going to be uh, public enemy number one. And you know, with any sort of closes above there, you know, that's going to make the weekly chart look that much better. Uh, but you know, we got five days now to see what kind of form uh, or candle forms next week. Uh, so it should be an exciting week after all this volume we've been seeing. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was MMTC. Thanks for listening.